All the field production light kits are made by Lowell. This video isn't going to go into how to use the specific lights and accessories. Its purpose is to show you how to set up and take care of the equipment so it can be used again and again by other students. Along this line, when using a kit, pay attention to how and where the lights, cords, and other items are arranged in the kit. You want to put everything back the same way that things came out to help the next person and not make a mess. First, the light stands. When you loosen the leg screw, don't just take the legs down to here. They go further to make a stable base. And you'll find three kinds of lights in the kits. The total light, which is broad and opens up and gives you a very wide and bright light range. The omni light, which is round and has a lot of things such as barn doors that cut off light and other accessories to help you to control it. And the small pro light, which also has barn doors, but as you can see, with less control. When you put the light on the stand, be careful because you can be fooled into thinking it's secure when it's not. Although it may feel like the light is all the way down, especially with the small pro light, it may not be secure. Make sure the light stand stud goes right to the top. That's really secure. Now, when setting up the light and you want to make the light go higher, always start from the top. Why? you can keep extending it without too much stretching. If you start at the bottom, it's hard to adjust when you need to go higher. And finally, try to keep the light cords from hanging where they can get caught by a foot and fall over, which in most cases breaks the light. There's an extension cord and a three-way adapter in each bag. With the smaller pro lights, you shouldn't have to worry about tripping a circuit breaker, but with the Omni and Tota lights, with their more powerful bulbs, don't put three lights on a circuit. You're asking for trouble. Split them up with at least one light on another outlet. These light fixtures get incredibly hot, so when you use them, there's a long cool down period. So make sure not to put one next to a water sprinkler head, smoke detector, or up against ceiling tiles where they can cause discoloration and burning. And bulbs eventually do go out, so when you need to replace one, there are a few precautions. First, the knob that focuses the light from the bulb actually does this by moving it slightly forward and backward. Now, when replacing the bulb, have it in the forward position. The ceramic bulb holder is most accessible in this position. And here's a very important point. Do not ever touch the new bulb with your fingers. Repeat, do not ever touch the new bulb with your fingers. Always use the foam in the spare bulb container or a non-oily tissue or paper towel when putting the new bulb in. Your fingers put oil on the new bulb and will greatly shorten its life. It doesn't happen right away, but it will kill that light bulb sooner than it should. A few quick notes. On some kits, there's a fold-down compartment that holds colored gels used for effects and diffusion gels to soften the light. Another item that gets used a lot, especially for really good soft overall lighting, is the umbrella. It needs to be treated gently so the ribs don't get bent. And on the light fixture, there's a slot with a little knob that lets you slide the umbrella in. Now, when it's in place, it faces the opposite direction of the light beam. So, with the umbrella, everything basically gets turned around. All the light kits and parts are color-coded to make sure they stay together as kits. So make sure that the Velcro ties don't get lost. During production, so many things are going on that it's really easy to lose small items like the ties. Put them where you can find them. You know, now television cameras are so good that lighting doesn't seem that important. But if you really want to shine, use lights to make sure you and your production do.